Thank you. Kalimera, and I also want to thank uh, Tokido Tsomako and his staff for hard working what they put together today for us for the next couple of days on the uh, Delphi Economic Forum. Uh, as you know, uh, both um, I speak Greek uh, and I learned it right from uh, my uh, mother's kitchen practically. Uh, growing up with uh, two uh, Greek parents, both my parents came from uh, the island of Andros, my father during uh, World War II sailing on a Greek ocean liner when the ship uh, was just about arriving in New York. Greece had entered uh, World War II and my mother in 1958. But what's important, uh, being a state senator from the state of Rhode Island, is we have many colleagues back, uh, back home. And I want you to remember these numbers, 4, 7, 21. Four members of uh, Congress of Greek Americans, seven state senators, and uh, 21 members of the state houses in 15 states that are very passionate. Both their parents or grandparents were born in Greece. And speaking to my colleagues, it's very important. And it's a very, very powerful group working with the American Hellenic Institute, AHEPA, and the Hellenic Initiative. Our group alone represents 15 states. That's 30 members of the US Senate. That's one third of the US Senate, about 125 members of the House of Representatives. That's one fourth of the members of the House of Representatives. And I'm saying that because all of us have direct contacts with our colleagues in government in Washington, our governors, our economic development agencies, our chambers of commerce, Fortune 500 companies in our states. And it's very important because 2018 is an important year for Greece, especially the United States being the host country for the Thessaloniki trade fair. And I'm saying that is because how do we get American companies to come to Greece to invest to help the Greek youth? It's deplorable the seven years of economic turmoil. And a lot of us back home care about Greece. We care about the many issues. Being passionate myself, facilitating the Alas Liberty uh, museum in Piraeus honoring the 2,000 Greeks who died during World War II in the Merchant Maritime, but also honoring Greece's superpower in the Merchant Marine. Working on a lot of the ethnic issues back home and making a point to our members of Congress and all the way up to the White House how important Greece is. And that also ties into the economic uh, piece that this year we have to make sure that we finally propel Greece with a good relationship with the United States. Very important. I think this, this year, our ambassador, Ambassador Pyatt, has done a very good job facilitating a very good relationship. And I say that because in the geopolitical world here, every day back home recently, we hear the constant threats by Greece's neighbor, Turkey. And I think it's deplorable. And I call upon the Trump administration and my colleagues in Congress to denounce President Erdogan every single day in Turkish officials of claiming and threatening to invade Greece. It's unacceptable a NATO country making those threats. But again, we have to move forward. We have to work very, very hard and meet those challenges to help Greece, especially this year, 2018. Thank you.